Mr. Nixon. Yes. Sorry, I got stuck to the chair. <laughs> so, I, I, and to a large extent, what we're talking about are staff-driven processes. So I think the key thing that the city council can do is to work with the city manager to make sure that the staff that we hire for that work are highly skilled, uh, they can get the work done effectively and quickly, uh, and that they are service-oriented. Uh, again, that they're trying to find solutions in order to get the projects done, as opposed to what too often happens, which is trying to find any excuse to block a project. So that's number one. It's not necessarily something that the council can do directly, but we have to work through the city manager to make sure that that happens. But the thing that we can do directly uh, is to be facilitators of the conversation. Uh, for the last 26 years uh, at Microsoft and my previous employer, uh, my primary job function has been as a representative in industry technical standards development groups. And that's a mouthful. And I know not everybody understands what the process is. Uh, but what I do is uh, I'm basically a, a technical diplomat for the company. And my job is to go out and uh, uh, work within these organizations with uh, similar representatives from our competitor companies. And I work in these organizations with our competitors to find solutions to our mutual customers' uh, needs so that we can move forward and get things done in the industry. Uh, that exact same thing is what needs to be done by our council members. We need to listen. We need to quickly focus in on the issues that need to be resolved. We need to work together to identify the solutions uh, that will work for as many people as possible. Uh, and then we need to move forward. And then we need to help people live with uh, the fact that they didn't get 100% of what they wanted. And I think that uh, being facilitators and leaders in that way, in building consensus in the community, is the most important thing the council can do. Thank you.